In this HTML tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background color of your HTML page. We're going to do this using internal CSS for now, so let's just start by opening the style tag inside your head tags. Then type the name of the tag that you want to change with the brackets. So here I'm changing the body tag because I want to apply the background color to entire page. And I'm going to use the background property and apply black. So I'm going to refresh the page. As you can see, it's applied. You can also change colors. So here, white. You can choose any color you want. Um, you can also use hexadecimal numbers, but you can look that up online. Uh, for now, in this basic tutorial, I'm just using uh, pre-made uh, HTML colors, which are like brown, black, and yellow, orange. In VS Code Editor, which is the editor I'm using right now, it will actually show you which colors are available as you type them into the background property. But again, you can use the hexadecimal numbers, which give you more precision and control over the, which color you want to use. For example, the black is all zeros, hashtag followed by six zeros. And basically the way it works is the first two values represent the red color or the red channel. The double F stands for the highest number. So when I put FF into the red channel, it gave us the 100% red color. And notice that the other two are still at zero, so none of the green or blue colors are used in creating this color. But let's say I move the double F into the center to represent the green channel. The background will change to green. And you can use these six digits to create pretty much any color you want. We're just using the highest values right now. Here's double F for the blue. And so for example, you can combine channels. Uh, red and green produce yellow. And red and blue produce this other color. Magenta or pink, isn't it? To create a gray color, just use all of the same numbers. If you go from four to five, the gray color is gonna increase in intensity. And you can go that way all the way up. In hexadecimal, you have seven eight nine and then you got letters a b c d e f um, and that's how you basically construct your colors using this notation up to this point we used internal css internal css is when you specify your properties inside the style tag just like we see here in my next example i'm going to show you how to use inline css which is embedded directly into the html element so now let's go ahead and actually add the style attribute inside the HTML element you want to change. So here we have body and you can add style attribute and start typing your CSS. So it's the same thing as we did before, but see how the black overwrites our orange where the orange color is no longer set because inline styles always take precedence. You can also use the background dash color property to do the same thing. Um, the background property is actually a shorthand for the background color. That's why they both work. So a shorthand property like background is basically a combination of many different values. It's just in this example, we use only the color. You can also specify the background image or a gradient, but I explain all those things in my other HTML tutorials. And so finally, you can specify the background color, not of the entire element, but of each specific HTML element. So in this next example, I'm going to show you how to change the title, the header tag. Uh, same thing, we're just going to apply a different background. And you will see how this color will be applied only to that element. And this works with all other paragraph tags and header tags and all the other things you can change the background of any HTML element. So I think that there's not really much else to say about HTML and changing the background color and I'll leave it at that. So I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.